Hello everyone, today we have new video review and as you can see this time we are going to talk about fresh release from Miniard. Of course it is molded in 135 scale but this time it copies SL A APC T54 and this is a different version from the one we reviewed in the previous video because this time we get dozer blade and you can see it in this bright red color on the box art and this is a commercial sample so it means you will get exactly the same stuff as what you'll see in this video we are going to open it and check what is actually supplied here and why this version might be better than the previous release or vice versa i mean why would you choose the previous version over this one so first of all box is really big because this is an interior kit so we get all internal components included out of the box and parts count should be quite impressive i mean I mean, they stopped uh, printing it on the box art just to not to scare uh, modelers so you can imagine how many parts are inside here you can see comparison with my hand and box art looks good then on the side we have some information about manufacturer some safety devices and also some uh, safety tips or assembly tips and on the opposite side this is quite heavy box as well and here on the opposite side we have the same marking option shown from different sides but i guess we'll have more markings inside i hope so this is a top opening box and here is what we have inside so all frames are packed into the same plastic bag and of course whole package seems to be really tight so if you have a chance to check everything before purchase i would recommend to do so because Otherwise you might end up with broken parts and maybe it will end up with being not a serious problem or maybe in a completely opposite, let's say, situation you will have parts which you will have to fix somehow. Okay, now I'm going to cut through the plastic bag, so just give me a second to uh, cut through with scissors and as usual for mini art this plastic bag is sealed so be ready this video review will be quite long because we have a lot of plastic screws here inside and we have to check them one by one of course so first of all i'm going to start with this set which is just give me a sec what i really surprised to see every time is the packaging style in such kit because I mean that's really seriously tight packaging for such tender parts as the ones you will see in this video so I still do not understand why they keep using these narrow boxes because it's really tight on the frames okay so finally i removed it i can imagine what you heard in the microphone sorry for this but i could not have avoided this so here we have envelope with p parts and p fret where are you here it is so now they fix or it was accidental i think so here we have a small p thread for external and internal detailing here you can see it of course these are unpainted parts and you will be able to cover them with whatever uh, paint color you would like to and they will look nice and i recommend to apply them all because model will uh, look better after application of all these tiny bits yes it might be tedious but final result will be worth it next we go on with first gray plastic sprue so here we have a lot of um, I would say external and internal parts because for example here you have one piece main gun barrel which won't be used here because as you remember we do not have two right here the same can be said about these parts but we still have some interior lines which will be installed in the tank and as you can see these are really thin parts so be ready for some work i would say some careful separation because otherwise it will be um, easy to break them and then really difficult to fix them and i have some experience with this because i'm still trying to finish my t54 project 
Okay, but it's not because of the broken parts, it's because I'm lazy. <laughs> okay, anyways, here we have uh, another plastic sprue. This one is dedicated to engine parts. As you can see, um, engine should be really detailed out of the box. And yes, it comes as a standard inclusion. They also produce it as a separate kit, but here you get it out of the box. And it should be really detailed. The only thing which I can think of adding here is the um, various lines or wires on the engine you can do it easily with metal wires so um, and then you get a completely impressive engine in your tank but of course it will be worth to think how to expose it on the finished model next we go on with uh, four identical plastic frames I will show you only one because they are absolutely the same here we have minor elements for external detailing and as you can see there is also one hatch I'm not sure where it will be placed frankly speaking I don't remember where I was placing it in my model so we will have to check it next we go on with another plastic sprue with interior elements here it is a lot of tiny parts I mean don't be confused by 35 scale these are still tiny elements and in some cases you will have to use tweezers because otherwise it will be a really tricky thing to do. Next we go on with this narrow sprue where you have parts for towing cables. Again, nothing I would say serious, molding quality looks nice. So, I mean, it's just a matter of careful installation and you will be fine. Next, uh, we have two identical plastic frames. So I will show you only one because the set of parts is absolutely similar. Here we have drive sprockets, also we have idlers and small torsion bars. So this model offers you a choice between uh, movable torsion bars and also the fixed ones. Of course I would recommend to choose the movable parts because it might be handy in some diorama ideas, maybe in some other situations and it's not such an, uh, I would say, difficult or a complex thing to do so of course you will be able to install it on your tank without any extra issues or adventures next we go on with two identical plastic frames which carry parts for fuel drums which will be placed on the rear of the tank but frankly speaking I'm not sure if they were present on the SLA APC versions so we will have to check it next we go on with another plastic sprue. This one is definitely for interior parts. As you can see here we have four panel. This sprue won't be handy in this kit because here we have this large turret panel. The only thing which you'll use is this engine deck cover and that's pretty much all. Here we have another hatch and other turret parts will go into your spare box because they won't be used here. Now just give me a sec to place all the sprues in a more or less understandable fashion. So here we have new plastic sprue as you can see now um, this one is dedicated to the dozer blade and it's cool that it is molded as a one piece part so it means you can um, easily separate it off the frame and it will be ready to be installed on the model. Next we go on with minor elements for the turret parts here and again molding quality seems to be nice there are even some welding seams replicated in plastic so it's just a matter of careful painting and weathering and they will be noticeable on the finished model as well okay next we go on with this plastic sprue which is also specific for SLA version because here we have turret parts and also some parts which will be placed in the turret ring so you have to use them as well of course Okay. These two are dedicated to suspension parts. So here you have some minor beads which will be added on the lower hull half. And we will get to this area as well, so be patient. Okay. Just give me a sec. I'm trying to understand what to show you next. So here, for example, we have special equipment for this SLA APC version. 
So all this stuff will be placed inside and outside on this tank. Next we have one, two, three. So I see only three identical plastic frames and that's why I'm a bit confused because it should be four and I did not lose anything. So here you can see them. Here we have parts for road wheels. These are center caps and also some minor parts for external detailing. Okay. Next we go on with this machine gun, here it is. It should be glued out of separate pieces. And that's a bit surprising because usually machine guns come as a single piece element. Next we have the special parts for SLA APC here. You can see them, frankly speaking, I don't remember what they were used for. I think for the dozer blade fixing on the front section, but we will see in assembly manual, of course. So we can move on to the next plastic sprue. Here we have again drive sprockets and idlers. These are really nice parts. The only thing which I am not a huge fan of is that we have attachment points between teeth here. So you have to be careful while cutting off these parts, otherwise you end up with damaged teeth, which won't look really um, natural and nice, let's say. Next we go on again, here we have machine gun sprue, another one, sprue type, which we saw a few seconds ago. This one was for suspension parts for the lower hull section. Okay, next we have here the before mentioned lower hull section as you can see that's the bottom part and of course side walls will have to be placed separately here you have the top hull part this is a mantlet cover which we won't need but here you have various separate hatches for the hull which will be used even on SLA APC and they can be opened of course so if you would like to expose what is hidden inside that's definitely a handy feature because otherwise it will just be hidden inside the tank. Here we have again some interior comp components, as you can see some um, ammo for the main gun, even though it won't be used here, and radio stations and some other equipment for machine guns. Next we go on with more machine guns here. Then there are two plastic screws with minor beads for external detailing, here you can see them. Okay. And next, I told you that this one will be a really long review because we have a huge amount of sprues here, really huge. Uh, next here we have, for example, some external uh, hull panels and parts. Again, it's better to consult with assembly manual in order to understand what goes where. Here we have, is it a dozer blade? That's really interesting because here you can see this concave part and as you can see it looks as a dozer blade and it would be funny to get another one included into this kit. So maybe there are two assembly options in one box. I don't remember if it was advertised in the original initial release but here for example we have various accessories for this dozer blade so it might be an option to have several types of dozer blade in one box next here we have some parts for the lower hull section and as you can see this is interconnection between two large sprues molding quality still looks fine even on these thin parts but this is really funny, I mean, how many attachment points we have for this thin part. Some others will be uh, just replacing this with thin metal wire and I can understand it because it will save some time and you can replicate various damage on such replacements, let's say. Next we go on with interior parts, here for example we have ammo for machine guns, here we have some hull parts, these for example are internal walls for the lower hull section. Okay. One more sprue is dedicated to the main gun and another 
lower hull wall. Of course, main gun won't be used, so basically you will get several one-piece barrels for your spare parts. It might be handy for some uh, scratch builds, let's say. Here, definitely all these parts will be used because, as you can see, here we have interior components. Maybe only ammo storage won't be used because it doesn't have the <laughs> main gun. Next, we have this external, let's say, sidewalls which will be used for the lower house section. And don't worry about such parts division because it should be really easy to combine these together and then you have a nice result without any, uh, I would say, complex problems. And the last white plastic sprue is dedicated to uh, various external elements. As you can see, for example, here we have glazes plate, then we have side skirts, and everything looks nice for example these mud guards can be completely removed on your model which is also cool because you can add some variation to your model in order to achieve a unique appearance not just another t54 in 135 scale now i'm opening the different plastic bag by the way here we have minor clear plastic sprue as you can see there are several periscopes which will be installed on the model Next we have another plastic bag as I said, so again I have to open it, so sorry for the plastic sounds in the microphones, just give me a second. Okay. So here again we have some problems with, I would say, packaging because it's really tight crazy tight I would say so I am trying to remove at least some plastic sprues so that we can see few of them okay because they are absolutely identical not because I am trying to speed up the review so here we have some drivetrain parts as you can see these are more of the engine components and gearbox for example here and again everything looks completely fine there are some guiding pins inside if there are um, two halves to be connected together so no worries it should be easy thing to do frankly speaking I'm not sure about this sprue why it is included here because we do not have main gun here still it is in the package and you will get this main ammo uh, bit included next we go on with suspension parts as far as you can see so here we have more of the torsion bars for the fixed version and I would like to show you the sprue with tracks. Other sprues are not interesting because we had road wheels which I will show you as well. But this one in my opinion is the most interesting because not that many T54 kits actually offer the same quality of tracks out of the box let's say so here you can see them these are separate track links don't be worried about assembly process they shouldn't be difficult to assemble for example here i am as i said i am assembling t55 and as you can see it's really easy thing to assemble it's not glued it's just a dry fit and still they stay together so you can um, make them whatever shape you need and then just glue it into the place and again you can see what tracks we have for T54 here you can see them from the opposite side and next we have road wheels so here they are road wheels are molded as one piece parts you have to cut off some flesh in these uh, circles but other than that it's not such a difficult thing to do and of course final result should be a good looking thing because we have really nice detailing on the tires as well but there are no painting templates no masks so be ready for some funny time with several wheels in a row next we have assembly manual this one is typical for mini art so we can zoom out a bit and now you should be able to see whole cover of course on the first page we have a short features list with quite understandable description here we have first marking option why I'm a bit slow because I'm trying to understand if it's the same I think it's the same as what we have on the box art here we have parts map next we continue with 
uh, more of this spruce. I mean, these pictures give you a good idea of how many uh, spruce we have in this package. It's a really impressive amount, so try not to lose any of this. Next, we continue with assembly process. So everything starts with engine, then you assemble the lower hull section and uh, drivetrain. Road wheels, here you can see the choice between fixed um, torsion bars and movable ones. Next, we install four panels and various internal equipments, for example, control elements for the driver. And next, we continue with ammo storage, which is installed on the wall. Here you install engine in the rear section, of course. Then you continue with another wall for the lower hull section. Here you install various external elements. And note that you have to work with P parts in order to replicate the engine deck mesh. And it's a bit tedious, but final result looks really impressive. So I recommend to be patient to do all this process and you will be surprised with final appearance. Next, we continue with top hull covers, which will be installed on what we assembled before. Then here we have this armor uh, covers for this turret opening. As you can see, they will be fixed in place as far as I can understand. Next, we continue with uh, skirts, supports, and also various toolboxes. Of course, fuel tanks are also installed on these shelves. And all fuel lines are replicated in this kit. This is really impressive, but it's also a bit tedious to install even in 135 scale. Then we go on with road wheels, machine guns, and here we assemble the dozer blade. So as far as you can see, it is the same version as what we saw on the box art, but you have to combine two parts together. This is a really interesting thing to do. I wonder if you can use without this, uh, use this part without this front section because it will be completely different dozer. Here we have two other kits which might be interesting for you. They're also in 135 scale. We have also paint chart and that's pretty much all. No other marking options. Here, by the way, you can see the dozer blade appearance without this frontal section. And here you can see the APC version without dozer blade, which we reviewed before as well. Both were reviewed, so you can find them easily on our YouTube channel. As for this kit, it should be already available. You can get it in Modelium X web shop, for example. And of course, I will be happy to hear your opinion about this kit. Write it here in the comment section below. If you like this video, don't forget to press the like button and subscribe to our YouTube channel. And I will see in the next video review as usual. Thank you for joining me today and bye.